All right guys, day nine, beginner program one. We are going to get our warm up started and we'll get back to doing push ups. All right, as you guys know, I like to start with the high steps. Let's go. High steps. Let's All right, let's just get these going first, get a little bit of initial blood going. I mean, I've changed it up, but uh, sometimes that's just get a good way to get the blood flow. Put my hands up at my waist, just do high steps for a little bit. Alright, that's probably enough. And then just, just relax my neck and my shoulders. Drop your head down. Limber up. One, two, three, four, five. And I got my glasses on. It's okay. I'll take them off. We'll go the other direction. One, two, three, four. Shoulder rolls forward. One, two, three, four, five. Shoulder rolls backwards. One, two, three, four, five. And then, what else we got here? Let's, uh, oh, right. Let's do, um, we do our arms as well. One, two, three, four, five. Then go the other way. One, two, three, four. Five. Do it forward with this arm. One, two, three, four, five. And backwards. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And I'm going to do the hug ourselves, right? One. We're just going to do this for a bit, okay? Get that blood moving through your body. Warm up. We also do this similar warm up as a cool down, as a stretch, um, but that's really kind of the point, right? You get this new blood or the cold blood warming up, getting in your muscles, and when you're stretching, you're just making sure that your muscles, after being contracted so much, are also feeling loose and limber again and they'll heal better, okay? So, in that, set your hands, just get that good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hold, five hold, usually I get ten, sometimes five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. All right. And I always like to get my, oh, my back a little stretch out. Sorry about this. Fat body, right? Down, breathe out. Oh, yeah. Pop in the back. Slow raise. I'm gonna do one more for good measure. All right, and now we're gonna do our run in place. All right, so run in place. Remember the variations I touched you guys for the last couple weeks. Just where if you don't want to run in place, just do your your little foot lifts or your your uh, calf raises a little bit, just off the off the ground to the balls of your feet, the heels up on the balls of your feet, or you alternate the balls of your feet. Okay, so I can do that. You won't really see it down here, but you notice the point is it keeps my my body moving and going. Right? We can also do jumping jacks. Keep going. You can go to 20. You can do it for a minute. You can do it however you want. After jumping jacks, we'll probably do another back uh, stretch today because I slept pretty funny last night. So down. Ah, that's good. All right. And get my back a little tight. I'm gonna do these W's. Alright, pull back. Forward. Just drop it forward and pull your arm back. That's a really good stretch. Alright, that's our warm up. Let's get to our push ups. Alright, guys, uh, we're back. Okay, so set one. 
is six push-ups. Set two is nine push-ups. Set three is seven push-ups. Set four is seven push-ups. Set five is going to be 10 plus. We're going to have 39 push-ups minimum done by the end of this day if we keep up with these goals in the, in the book. Book link is below. Be sure to get it, order it. It's worth it. Uh, set one, six push-ups. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. There we go. Mark your books. Link below. Uh, also, check us out on all the other social media things. Um, I like to post a lot of encouraging other posts for motivation for fitness. Why it's the Motivation Fitness channel. Try my best to keep it light and keep it uh, encouraging. That's all we can do for ourselves, that's all we should do for each other. Anyway, so our set two is gonna be nine push-ups. Remember, that was our max to failure set uh, a couple days ago. So, on day eight. So now day nine, this is our midway through, is is we're just getting nine. So we're already watching a lot of good progress happen. Guys, that's the name of the game, slow steps of progress. Let's uh, keep in mind, it's a marathon, not a race. We move forward and we get going. So we're gonna do nine push-ups right now, okay? Three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Whew. There we go. Nine. Man. Set three is seven, set four is seven. Guys, um, good thing about the books is it's for tracking, okay? Again, I said this before, you can use it in any type of exercise or any type of um, weight training or anything you wanna do. The goals are the number of the sets. You can fill this out however you want for weight, for calisthenics, repetitions, and sets. And you can actually, if you wanna figure out how to do 100 pull-ups in a day, whatever you can use this exact same formula and you'll get there. And these are made for your body to literally adjust. All these numbers and the, and the way that we do it, where we, you know, we start low, then we jump up one, then we go down, or then we do a max. That's, that's how our body is learning and training to build the endurance and the muscle that we need to build. So that's how this works. You can watch these videos and follow along and just do exactly what I do, and you'll still make it. The books are good because it helps you get in the habit of tracking your workouts. Uh, as a beginner, that's something you want to get in the habit of because it teaches you to look back and be like, okay, I am doing better than yesterday, or well, what kept me, why was I doing so well last week and not this week, right? No matter what workout, you're gonna have off weeks, you're gonna have off days, you're gonna have great days, you're gonna have phenomenal days. But you get a workout journal for that reason. Here we go. We are going to set three, which is seven push-ups. Three. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I went kind of fast. <laughs> so I, at the end, I was like, I gotta slow down. So again, if I ever move too fast for you guys, um, I'm gonna have this time to rest. And during this rest talking time, you guys can keep powering through it. Okay, if you say, man, he did that really fast, keep in mind, it's probably like seven seconds difference. Just pause it and do your workout. Just pause it real quick, do it, and then you just wait, uh, jump ahead to where you want to be. Um, sit, or, or, you know, take your time, this should, should be at your pace. Now, every other day I think is good pace. Never wait more than two days to get done with your workout, okay? Your body's, um, Repair time takes 24 to 48 hours. But then after that, if you don't work it out enough, and it's gonna to start to deteriorate, we have to start all over again. So never really wait more than 48 hours for whatever muscle group you're using to or training. Set four is seven again. Three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Ugh. All right. All right, mark your books. All right, I'm always trying new flavors and new energy drinks and new pre-workouts. I'm not a person who likes super sweet stuff. Just not. And some of these companies will over sweeten it to cover up any other undesirable flavors. And the problem is when you try a new one, <laughs> I'm always willing to try new things. And I'm always taking that risk that it might be something I dislike. A lot of them will over sweeten to cover up stuff that's not so good. Anyhow, all right, step five is going to be 10 plus, 10 to failure, all right? I'm gonna kind of go to failure here um, because if you guys notice, all week I've been wearing the same thing. It's really because I've done all of this video taping in like an hour. My 100 pushups a day to do these videos for you. And uh, you know, we'll see as, as time goes on, I might have to, I might back off more <laughs> stuff down because once you get to 150 pushups a day, it's, it's hard to maintain that. Um, I, I don't think I can, I mean, I could do 400, whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll move on. Set five, 10 plus, 10 to failure, going to fit. Three, two, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, <laughs> I got to twelve. My failure wasn't so good today. Again, I said you have good days and off days. Uh, so I marked twelve. Well. Uh, all right, that gets me to 100 push-ups anyhow. Um, yeah, my knuckles kind of started hurting there. Uh, ooh. So, mark up your books. Uh, get to the stretch. Be sure to check our links below. Uh, and check out some of the links on our end screen. Subscribe. Awesome. How are we doing? All right, guys. We're here to get our stretch on. First, we're just gonna hug ourselves, okay? First, for the stretch, just hugging. Love ourselves, we had a great workout, pushed ourselves to the limit that we hadn't hit before. That feels good. I feel some good tingling in my body. Cool down, my blood's just starting to flow. Sweat coming out, that's good stuff. Right? Let's do shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see shoulders forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, a lot of those good stretches also. Do the hand. Put your hand up right over here. Push it. Oh, that's so good. A lot of these stretches are just good to relax and come down from a good workout. This is where it feels really nice. Feel those endorphins, you know, releasing. You feel accomplished. You feel like you've done something well. Keep pushing for our goals. We're gonna always feel really good about that. Nice hand. Hold it. All right. We're gonna really well to achieve all of our goals, make it to the end of this program, track our workouts correctly, and I can look back and say, you did it, man. All right, so now I'm gonna take my arm across, pull it, that, wow, that stretch, that's a good stretch. All right, do it again. Take some deep breaths. It's good therapy too. It's good just calming, breathing right, keeping your breath going. Good breathing, good time. Good feelings. All right. Uh, three, four, five. I keep doing this one, two, three, four, five. All right. So. 
the reason I'm doing that is my, my back's a little tight. So, uh, I, uh, I just like, you know, gotta keep, keep, keep this lactic acid knots from building up, okay? We're gonna do W's just like we did in the warm up. Back and forward. Okay. Oh. Squeeze back. You can do it like this if you can't bend your elbows like that. You can actually do it like a T and you do the same thing. Just push back. Oh, feels really good. Do this. Push forward. Oh. Push forward, forward, forward. Okay. And you can also do this. Push those hands too. You know, so it's like this. And then you can do that and it'll actually help with your forearms again, okay? Now, we're back, right? We go here, cross our back. Actually, we're pushing back with these hands. It is a little uncomfortable, but it's a good stretch in your chest. You certainly feel that in your, chest, in your chest, right? So grab the hands in the back, breathe through it. If it's uncomfortable, just take some deep breaths. I can also grab that pole and just I'll just turn my body away from it and I'll feel this stretch. And that's really good. So and do that and hold that a bit. If you don't have a pole, you can do it on a wall. If you don't have either, you can do the clasp and push back like we just did. Okay? And I'm gonna do it again this way. I just feel it across my shoulders and my chest. Stretching helps you develop and recover much, much faster than you would if you weren't stretching. Just so you know, there's a lot of people, bodybuilders, when I was a bodybuilder, I was like, yeah, oh, F stretching, man, I'm hardcore. Well, that's great when you're 20. You can recover from anything, even a hangover fast. But uh, age catches up. Get a good stretch, get your blood flowing, get moving, right? Now, while I'm doing this, I'll move my, I'll do my leg thing like I do in the warm up, just with my heels and stuff. So, and this is just a nice cool down. We'll do 10 breaths for a good feeling of a cool down, and then we'll call it a day. So, ready? Stop moving our legs. How much time with our arms? Take a few more breaths. If you want to lay down, take a few breaths you can. That's a good relaxing cool down. I will see you guys next week. Enjoy your weekends if you're doing this Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like the book says. Uh, pay attention to all our great stuff in the description below. And keep, keep going for the gold, guys. Keep trying to stay fit.